So how are things going in the effect pedal division, since the launch of that new, ultimate guitar pedal? Well, the pedal was initially selling like mad, especially among the furry animal, pedal peak, and rock star wannabe demographic. But we have been getting a lot of calls about quality issues lately. Really? What kind of issues are being reported? Most of the issues seem to be related to the John Mayer settings. You're kidding. All our research said that was the setting that would sell the pedal. It was supposed to be the tone of the gods. It was supposed to enhance your manhood and guarantee that you will be swarmed with dating offers from starlets or your money back. Well, it seems like all those functions are working correctly. Apparently the issues arise when you try to operate the social networking functions of the pedal using the John Mayer preset. Our R&D division did such a spot-on job of modeling the entire John Mayer experience that it has replicated his penchant for posting completely inappropriate statements in people's Facebook walls and on Twitter. Customers are complaining that their friend lists are being completely wiped out and that they are repeatedly being referred to as douchebags wherever they go. Wow. That's harsh. Has R&D come up with a fix? The plan is to come up with a model that is a cross-pollination of the tone and technique of Jimi Hendrix and post-rehab Eric Clapton and Stevie Ray Vaughan. That way you will have the essential John Mayer sound without all the nasty social side effects. Wow. Do you think it will work? I don't see why not. Well, good luck and keep me posted how the fix goes. Sure thing. By the way, do you have any plans for Friday night? Hold on. Aren't you engaged? Not anymore. My fiancé broke up with me after my ultimate pedal posted on my Facebook wall that Jessica Simpson was the best sex I ever had. Ouch. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, tell me about it. Those research and development guys have got to get that pedal fixed.